Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths Tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some equation of the straight line questions. So if we take a quick overview, the equation of a straight line can be found using two different equations. And we have y equals mx plus c, and we have y minus b equals mx minus a. Whereby m represents the gradient, c is the y-intercept which only applies to this equation and a and b are a single coordinate that lies on the line and this applies to this equation. So depending on the information that is provided in the question will determine which equation we can use. So if we know where it cuts the y-axis, remembering that c represents the y-intercept, then we can use this equation here, which is much easier than the next equation. However, if we don't know where it cuts the y-axis, then we must use the more slightly complicated y minus b equals mx minus a. And this topic does contain quite a few problem-solving questions, ones that you will tend to find in the exam. But if we have a look at question number one, Question number one says a straight line has the equation 3x minus 2y equals minus 4. And we have to find the gradient and the y-intercept of the line. So this is basically a rearrangement of this equation to look like y equals mx plus c. So we need to move the 3x and we need to move the minus 2. So we'll move the 3x first. So that will go over as minus. And then we need to move the minus 2. Now, because that is multiplying by the y, that will go over as divide. So when we move that across, we end up with minus 3 over minus 2x plus minus 4 divided by minus 2. Now, if we tidy this up, our final equation becomes y equals positive 3 over 2x plus 2. So we can read off the gradient as m which is the, the number that's times and by the x, which is 3 over 2, and the value by itself, c, is the y-intercept, so in this case it is 2. So question number 2 gives us a straight line AB, and it gives us the two coordinates, a which is minus 1, 6, and b which is 3 minus 2. So the first question we have to ask ourselves, do we know the coordinate of this point here? No. So that means we have to use this equation here because we don't know the value of c in the other equation. So we need to find the gradient first and we do this using this equation here. So we use a and b and we use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now I'll put a link in the description below um, on a video on how to solve gradient problems. But if we substitute the numbers in, we end up with a gradient of minus 2. Now, you can double check your answer here with the diagram because we have a negative gradient, a negative slope, which means we expect m to be a negative value. So then we can then choose either a or b, it doesn't matter, and we substitute in the values of small b and small a. Now small a is the x coordinate and small b is the y coordinate. So we end up with something that looks like this. Now if we tidy this up and multiply out the bracket, we end up with y minus 6 equals minus 2x minus 2. And then if we move the 6 across, your equation then becomes y equals minus 2x plus 4. And that's how you would go about solving that kind of problem there. Now the last question is a fairly substantial problem solving question. And the backstory is it's about cattle farmer who records the weight, which in this case is the y-axis with respect to the age of the, the cattle, which is now on the x-axis. So we've replaced x and y with a and w. And it tells us that point D 
represents a three month old calf which weighs a hundred kilograms. So that means that it goes along three on the x-axis and then up to 100. And likewise for E, it goes along to 15 and then up to 340. And then it asks us, find the equation of the line of best fit in terms of A and W. Now this means that instead of having X and Y, we need to replace these with A and W. So first things first, just write out the coordinates and make it a little easier to visualize. So we have E and we have D. Now, same thing as before, we don't have the Y intercept, so we can't use the Y equals MX plus C. We have to use the other equation. But we first need the gradient, so we use this formula, plug the numbers in, we will end up with a gradient of positive 20. And that's what we're looking for, because we have a positive line. It's going in the positive direction. So again, you can use either point. You can use E or you can use D. In this case, I'm just going to use D in the equation. And I've replaced Y this time with W. And I've replaced X with A, because that will be in terms of W and A. So when we substitute the numbers in, B is 100 and A is 3. And when we go through the process, we end up with this equation here, which is y equals 20a plus 40. So part B asks us, use the equation from part A, which is this one here, to estimate the weight of a one year old calf. And it's given us a hint in that the year has been highlighted in bold. Now, if we look at the x-axis, the age is given in months. So we need to convert one year into months. So one year, obviously being 12 months. So we then replace A with 12. And that will give us the value of W. So that will tell us the weight when A is 12 months. So we just substitute that and do the calculation and we end up with a weight of 280 kilograms. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.